Nerds International proudly presents We are back once again with another episode of The Forum Beggars, a DCC actual play featuring Grimald and Minoc. And where have I been, I hear you ask? Well, I got an RPG player to go out with me. That's right, I asked her on a D8. Ha <laughs> ha! It's been a long time. Do you know what? I've I've really missed this. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> me too. Me too. So so have a few listeners. This is our DCC actual play, the Forum Beggars. Yes. So um, let's do some quick character introductions. Let's start with James. Who are you playing? I'm playing Minoc, who's an ex-rich herder dwarf. And Nick. I am playing Grimald, and I am a vagrant hobbit. So, in the last session, you guys were going through the King Spire dungeons in order to search for the Rune Blade, which you needed to destroy the Yokeless Egg. And also, you needed it to kind of get home because mm-hmm. Nyre, the Crow King of the uh, King Spire, said that he could use the Rune Blade to send you back to your time because this dungeon exists in a time that is not your own. You've been flung back many hundreds of years. But in addition to that, his wife, Lady Ariach, she said that she did not want you to retrieve the Rune Blade, and in fact, she wanted you to just chuck it away, chuck it in the bin, and she would uh, just cast a spell to send you home because she didn't actually want the uh, time cycle that you guys are currently stuck in to be reset. The reason being is because she wanted to just uh, spend all these uh, 24 hour loops with her husband. She was enjoying the quality time with hubby, wasn't she? She loves him so much, she's going to put them both into turmoil, but for love, weirdly. Exactly. Uh, But in addition to that, you received a third offer from a bloke called the Vizier, who is a weird bloke that said that Lady Ariark can't actually do the spell to send you back, and he can actually do a spell to send you back, so give the blade to him, Mm -hmm. and he will uh, send you back but he will also keep the time loop going so that he can work his charms on Lady Ariarch. But as I mentioned, this dungeon exists in a place out of time, and every 24 hours, time gets reset, and you guys have been through the dungeon once, died, and then gone back to the beginning of those 24 hours, and now you are just going back to the entrance of the dungeon to try again. You guys um, batter down the door to the dungeon and run in with the wizard Marzio, who is your um, begrudging companion for this quest, and his two acolytes, Keith and the as of yet unnamed acolyte. (laughs) And once you get in there, you can see various implements of torture adorn the walls of this horrific chamber. Yes, you're back in the torture chamber from before. And once again, you can see a large wooden rack resting in the back of the chamber alongside an iron maiden made of bronze. This is a massive torture device, and inside you can hear the wails of somebody going, You're not gonna help me this time! Right, well, I know what not to do this time. Keep walking. Let's speak on. (laughs) You remember that last time? There was there was a guy in here, wasn't there? And at this point, you can see that as Marzio is talking, a gigantic um, man just materialises behind him and swings for the back of his head and does a phenomenal amount of damage as this club just smashes into the back of his head and he goes, Ah, you bastard! (laughs) And yeah, you can see that it just cracks into his head. You guys are going to have to roll initiative as the torturer materialises and goes, Get the fuck out of my damn torture chamber. This magic guy killed me last time. I ain't going to let him this time. Well, we just want to be on our way. We'll be off then. Shut the fuck up. First up is going to be Marzio, and you see him go fireball. <laughs> uh, ah! Oh fuck! 
<laughs> and the spell fails, and he's like, "For fuck's sake, I'm really, I'm a better wizard than this. I promise." Oh, here he is again. Look alive, Marzio. Oh, fuck's sake, mate. Right, and next up is going to be the torturer, who goes, <laughs> "You stupid prick!" <laughs> and he swings once again, hitting him with the club. You see that um, Marzio instantly turns into a big old pile of upset <laughs> jelly as he just smashes down with this gigantic spiky club, destroying Marzio immediately. Um, next up is going to be Grimald. I'm like, right, you've had your satisfaction. Can we put it our way now, oh giant one? Um, yes, uh, actually, man, yeah, you can. Thanks, mate. We're just... No. No? All oh, right. Okay, well, eat this then. Yeah. And then I'm going to fire a, uh, a crossbow at him. Yeah, free. Your crossbow shoots um just past him and he's like he's like, What the hell was that man? Misfire, mate. You guys are pathetic. Anyway, we're off. Um but ciao. Okay, so you're gonna run in the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, give me an agility roll to run uh into the next chamber. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, come on, five. as you try to get away, your footing is just absolutely awful. You try to turn around, you sort of slip and you slip on some bits of Marzio and uh it's it's really, really bad. You don't manage to get away in, in any way, shape or form. <laughs> next up is going to be Minoc. What are you gonna do? Uh he's just gonna run away through try and get out. <laughs> Got five. So as you try to get away, your one leg and your stump are just running in place as you slip on a lot of Marzio's <laughs> blood, and, and no. the guy's just like, "Whoops!" No, really, man, this this is really pathetic. If you just stand there, I can just kill you all. Just get this over with quickly. We don't want to die. Rather not. We yeah. Want to progress. It's quite painful. Yeah, I know, but like. You're going to die anyway. You might as well not draw it out. Look, this guy can't even run. He's running in place. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just just let us through, would you please? Oh. Keith, help me out here, mate. Um, as you say that, Keith actually goes in Go and on, tries Keith. to punch the guy. Yes. But um, as he runs in, he slips a bit on Marzio's blood, meaning that his fist does not ring true. Oh. And uh, yeah, it just it just misses the guy's back entirely and Keith just like looks at you and shrugs as if to say I'm sorry man you tried your best Keith don't worry don't beat yourself up the other acolyte then uh, tries to run uh, just back f- the, from the direction that you came <laughs> yeah, right. and uh, he actually does so he's gone oh. see you later then oh bye uh, next up on the order is going to be the torturer once again. Um, he goes for a hit on Minoc and actually um, also starts slipping in the blood on the floor <laughs> and misses Minoc. Um, his uh, gigantic club just swings, hits the ceiling, and a few rocks fall down. Uh, next up is going to be Grimald. Uh, I'm going to try and run now while uh, while hopefully the executioner is. Uh, busy with the ceiling. <laughs> yep, go for it. Give me an agility roll, please. Come on, this time. That's an 18, mate. You finally manage to get some sort of semblance of a decent run as you leg it into the next chamber. And he's like, hey, come back here, man. I'd have to talk, but I've got that. Shh. And next up is going to be Minoc. I'll be seeing you then. Um, you also leg it into the next chamber, and he's like, what happened to fighting properly, man? <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is the worst battle I've ever had. Come on, Keith. Hi. As you say this, um, you notice Keith is, he looks at the um, torturer and then looks at you guys running away and then he just starts to leg it after you guys. Come on, Keith. And, and he manages to and you see him appear in the next room with you guys. Then the torturer, you hear him from the other room and he goes, you know, I could just follow you guys into the next room. And at this point, he appears in the room <laughs> with you guys. Day. And he goes for a swing on Minoc, managing to hit, does four damage, smashing his gigantic club into your chest. Ouch. See? <laughs> That's proper fighting. <laughs> Ow. Next up is going to be Grimald. What are you going to do? Uh, what's in this room? So in this room you can see a trio of heavy bronze gates in the chamber. If you remember the last session, uh, the vizier actually gave you a set of keys for agreeing to help him. Yeah. And those keys should uh, negate the puzzle in this room. Mm-hmm. I'm going to push forward, um, use the keys, open the gates and see if we can lose this fall. Okay, yeah, go for fighting it. was a good idea. Yeah, that that would be another Definitely. agility roll, agility. please. Cool. Oh, unlucky. Four. Yeah, unfortunately, as you try to get the keys out of your pocket, you drop them onto yep. the ground. And he's like, you were going to try to fight me with a big old bunch of keys? Yeah, I was going to stab you with my keys. You're a moron. No, so next up is going to be Minoc. Yeah, I'm going to uh, try and run scoop up the keys. 
It's key time. Ooh. I've got agility for 11. Okay, yep, that, you managed to scoop up the keys, and are you going to use them on the door? Yes. Okay, so as you insert the keys into the door, what you see is that all of these uh, three gates just sink into the floor and are, uh, disappear into some sort of mechanisms beneath the cobblestones, um, negating the puzzle in this room entirely, exactly as it did the last time you were in this dungeon. Next up is going to be Keith, who uh, continues to run through the dungeon. You see him run forward, take a left, and go down some stairs. So next up is going to be the torturer, who then tries to take a swing on Minoc once again, and he's like, if you can't beat him, well, no, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> and then he um, does two damage, just smacking you in the arse. Ooh. Ooh, my rump. <laughs> 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 Next up is going to be Grimald. So in front of you, yeah, you can see there's there's a passage leading forward and one leading left and down some stairs. Um, and Keith went down the stairs. Yes. Yeah? Should, uh, should go follow Keith. Okay, I've got to follow Keith. Chill Try to get out of there. Uh, a twelve, mate. Yeah, so with a 12, you manage to run and take a left down the stairs following <laughs> Keith into what you previously know to be the Rat King's Chamber, who yeah. you met last time down here. Wait for me, Keithy! And as you get down down there, you can hear the s some sobbing. Next up is going to be Minoc. <laughs> I'm going to chase as well. Yep. Oh, I've got a 13. Lovely. Yes, with a 13, you also manage to follow down there and hear the sobbing. Um, that is pretty decent, but the torturer also gives chase. He's coming. He's not having it this I time. I don't usually reveal the numbers, but uh, the torturer, he got an 18, and he catches up to you, and he's, he's like, Now really, guys, this is getting real stupid. And then you can hear... Oh, no. <laughs> right, everyone, stop fighting. Right. Stop fighting. And he's like... But come on, Rat King, these guys fucked up my torture chamber the last time on the time loop and they fucking killed me. It's, it's ridiculous. It was very rude. And, and you wouldn't believe what they did to me. That, that was a misunderstanding. Uh, that was so, well, uh, sorry. That was that Marzio guy and he's got his comeuppance twice now. That's bullshit. Last time you were down here, you, you, you while I was dying, you kept on pressing my body and making me hurt even more. Not me. No, 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 no. I was just, I was just trying to send you off peacefully. I told you to just be a little bit more manly in your uh, exit. That's all. No, I remember it extremely well. Last time you guys were down here, you guys were, were you, you, you really hurt me. And then, in addition to that. You, 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 when I was dying, you were pressing my body and saying, keys, please, keys, please, keys, please, over and over again. And I was in immense pain. Yeah, and not to mention, your stupid wizard friend cast a spell on me and I exploded. It's not our friend. Shut up. I exploded not just once, but like 15 times. This is unacceptable behavior. Do I come into your dungeon and fuck shit up? Exactly. I'm a king, for fuck's sake. But we're on a mission. We, we must advance and get through. Just just let us pass, perhaps. Look, Maybe we could talk about How many times friends. are you going to say that today? Tis your brother that has sent us, Rat King. What do you mean? He, uh, we are on a uh, charge of your brother. I don't have a brother, you dick. Yeah, you do. The uh, old croaking. He's not my brother. Who is he, then? He's just a, a, a different, unrelated guy to me. Right, okay, so, oh, I, I, sorry, my misunderstanding. I R thought that you were king of the rats, and he was king of the crows. <laughs> what do you think all kings are? How stupid are you? Very. Quiet. Look, look, just for a minute, let's have a discussion. Yeah, I like well, that. We did try that with the torture. Shut up! <laughs> look, the last time we did the time loop, we were supposed to be friends. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look, can't we just get back to the fighting? Wait, torturer, wait. We were supposed to be friends. And you betrayed that. All I wanted to do was eat one of your followers. And you look, Keith, you, and you see Keith starting to get a bit nervous. <laughs> and he goes, just one. And then you fucked me up so fiercely. And see, isn't that an excuse enough to get back to the fighting? No, wait. And then you betrayed me so fiercely. So I think, I think, yes, I am going to have to kill you. Oh, no. Hooray! And then you see him take a swing at um, Grimald. And he, he misses. His club actually flies out of his hand and goes over all of you. And he's like, whoops, butter fimbles. <laughs> 
good shot. So next up on the order is going to be uh, the torturer, and he just swings at you with his gigantic spiky club again, going for Minoc. Um, he's actually swinging for the leg, and he manages to do another six damage. Oh my god! Ow, uh, 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 my good leg. <laughs> That's why you can't run away from me, motherfucker. That's a bit below the belt, isn't it, mate? I mean, literally. Yeah. Why have you got any ideas here, mate? Because I'm a little bit uh, stuck. You, well, yes, actually. If we, I think, run back to the torture chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll open up the Iron Maiden, and perhaps they can help us. The what, mate? Brilliant idea! Uh, whoops. Uh, run! Run! Ah! Grimald <laughs> runs out of the room and back to the um, <laughs> back to the torture chamber. So next up is going to be Minoc. Yeah, I'm going to do the same follow through. Yep. Don't do it because I got a three. <laughs> okay, with a three, you sort of turn around, trip over your own feet, and sort of you're not um, tripping over onto the floor, but you don't manage to get a good start. <laughs> um, next up is going to be Keith, and she turns around. Is, does an absolutely pitiful manoeuvre, does the same thing as you, sort of tripping over his robe, and it's, it's pathetic. Next up is going to be the Rat King, who runs up to Minor, tries to slap you, and he, <laughs> he does, but it's the most pathetic slap ever, and he's, he's like, see, take that, take that, you little bitch. Just go, ow, ow. See? Ooh, it is so painful. That's for, that's for being, that's for being mean. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And next up is going to be the torturer. He's like, you see, Wrecking, that's why you suck. That's why you got to have all the rap followers, because you're a shitty boss. <laughs> and then he goes to hit Minoc for real. Um, actually, he's he scores a crit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just tell you that I rolled a 12, which is a strike to the groin. <laughs> <laughs> You must make a DC 15 fortitude save or spend the next two rounds retching. Five. That means that the um, club goes right up into the groin, smacking you in the nuts. For the next two rounds, you'll be on the floor, unable to act. It also did six damage. Yeah. So next up, it is going to be Grimald. You are now in the torture chamber. You can see in front of you this Iron Maiden, and you can hear... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Um, I'm here to save you. Oh, oh, voice, disembodied voice. Um, no, I'm not disembodied. Oh, yeah, are you? Oh, right. Yeah. No, I'm gonna get it. If I get you out of here, will you help me? Yeah. Okay, I'm not overly reassured with your tone, but I'm a bit stuck, so let's go. Uh, I'm gonna get my little dagger out and I'm gonna try and pick the lock. Uh, yeah, give me an intelligence roll for that. 19. Yep, with a 19 you manage to get the lock open and a woman falls out and the woman is actually an elder kith so it's Whoa. one of their own kind Whoa. and she falls out and she has been badly wounded she's so cut up and mangled that she's barely sort of recognizable as having once been an elder kith but you can only tell this by the fact that she's got those pointy ears and as she falls out she goes Ugh. are you all right oh god oh Oh, yes, yes, it's like my birthday. Oh, this is the best time of my life ever. How long have you been stuck in there for? What day is it? Tuesday. Uh, 500 years. Wow. Well, welcome out. Well, uh, shall we get going? Yeah, uh, what way are you going? Because uh, my friend's in a little bit of trouble that way. Which way is, uh, out? Uh... This way, and I'll point at the way to back towards the dungeon. Follow me, I'll, t I'll get you out. Uh, let's go. Wee! Wee! And she follows you. Um, <laughs> yes, I should point out that she's only wrapped in like the barest of rags as well. She's not wearing any armour or anything like this. <laughs> Fine. So. Next up is going to be Minoc. Um, you are still on the floor. <laughs> <sighs> As far as turns go, that's one of the best. Um, <laughs> next up is going to be Keith, who um, runs up Come to the on, Rat Keith. King as he's slapping you on the floor. Actually scores a crit. Yes, Let's see crit. what happens. He strikes the Rat King straight in the eyes and blinds him yes. for 1d3 rounds and gets one round of blinding on the Rat King and also does two damage to him. And then you see Keith sort of fist bump the air as if he's done an amazing attack, which he... <laughs> Kind of has. Yeah. But then the Rat King tries to retaliate despite his blindness, <laughs> doing an absolutely pitiful attack. <laughs> and he and he uh, swings round going, Ah, my eye! 
guys! You stupid! Where, where did you? Where? Who turned out the candles? Hello? And next up is going to be the torturer. He's like, does anybody know here how to fight here? Oh, and then seeing Grimald come into the room with the torture victim, he goes, who the hell let her out? And he goes up and tries to bash the torture victim. <laughs> this is not out? Uh, well, yeah, kind of out. Kind of help us. You, can you help us in this situation? What do you mean? Well, you see, um, these guys are being most horrible to us, and for us to get out, we must pass them. What, do you want me to fight them? Uh, doesn't have to be fighting, per se. Just uh, get us past them. What? How? Uh, what skills do I possess? Uh, well, maybe you have a sharp wit, perhaps some magic. Ah, you want me to tell a joke? Yes, yes, fine. Huh. Yes, occupy them. Everyone, listen! And yeah. you see that for a moment, the room freezes, <laughs> and she goes... What is big and green, and when it falls on you in the jungle, it hurts? And the Rat King goes, I don't know! What is it? And she goes, A pool table! <laughs> and then the whole room just falls to a deathly silence. <laughs> Except for the Rat King, who, who you can hear just go, <laughs> That's it, keep going, keep going. See, I've brought this lovely lady down for all your entertainment. So perhaps we should stop the fighting and enjoy the show. Take it away, oh torture victim. Next up is going to be Grimald. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go, tell me another joke. It's fascinating. And then we'll try and uh, help Miney up. Okay, cool. Um, so give me a strength roll to see if you can pick Minoc up, please. Okay. Uh, it's an 11. Unfortunately, what happens is you go up and try to scoop up Minoc, mm -hmm. but he's uh, quite a portly gentleman, <laughs> yeah. and as a result, you do not manage to pick your friend up. Uh, oh, you rotund little unit, you. And next up is going to be Minoc. What does he do? <laughs> oh, God. And next up is going to be Keith, who then goes for another punch on the Rat King. It's our prize fighter, Keith. Succeeding... He punches him square in the chest. Nice. And the Rat King, obviously still blinded for this, this round, just goes, Oh! <laughs> Why? <laughs> and next up is going to be the Rat King's turn, who just swings his arm round, actually managing to connect with Keith. Oh, no. um, of course, the Rat King is a very, very tall gentleman uh -huh. with gigantic arms, and his arm actually manages to connect with Keith, his elbow smashing Keith in the jaw. Um, and you see Keith hit the floor like a sack of potatoes oh, no. and his um, jaw just comes loose and loads of teeth and blood just start pouring out of his esophagus and Keith is unfortunately quite obviously dead. Oh. Keith no! Next up is going to be the torturer who um, still continues his attack on the woman desperate not to let her leave. He scores another crit. This die must be weighted. So the club just spears her through. It shouldn't be possible with a blunt weapon, but somehow he just smashes her all the Jesus. way through, creating a gigantic hole through this woman. Wow. And as it goes through, this was not the way out. And she just slumps lifelessly, um, like a big fat elf kebab on the end of his club. Yeah, I've never been good at directions. Don't ever let my torture victims out. Okay, we won't. Promise. How about you let us go? You take your victim back to her little box. Everybody's at me. Look, you killed my victim. I, I didn't kill your victim. I, I let her out so you could kill her. No, she wasn't supposed to die. I was supposed to torture her. Now you're going to become a victim. You've got a very unfortunate outlook on life, my friend. <laughs> okay, it is Grimwood's turn. What are you going to do? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. I mean, all you do is hurt people. That's all you do. I used to be like that, and I'll tell you now, there's no long-lasting satisfaction come from it. Nothing but shame and sadness inside. Uh, give me a personality roll, please. <laughs> what did you what? get? <laughs> um, as you say this, you see a, a little tear come to the torturer's eye, and he goes, <laughs> That's the kindest thing anyone's ever said about me. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's all right, mate. Next up is going to be Minoc. You are now back in action. Me. Oh... Ah, take I, this. And I'm going to um, use my spear against the torturer. Eight. You run up to the guy, jab your spear at him. Whoops. And you just miss, unfortunately. Ooh, I like it. 
So next up is going to be the Rat King, whose blindness is now gone. So he he's like, ah, there I am. <laughs> Uh, he runs up to his club and picks it up. And he's like, hmm, fun times. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next up is going to be Grimald. Oh, Rat King, can I have your keys? Yes. Thanks. No, no I, I mean, no. Sorry, no. sometimes I get the moves mixed up. Okay, well, <laughs> well if, if that's the case, then catch this. I'm going to throw the uh, axe at 17. Do you see this axe fly through the air and, and catch the Rat King square between the eyes? Sweet. And shot. You see that his eyes cross and look at the axe, and he and he's like, "Ah, I see how it is," and then he just slumps backwards and and dies on the floor. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I did ask. I did ask nicely first. You saw that, Marty, didn't I? He did ask. There's no cold-blooded murder. You should take a leaf out of my book. I'm torturer. Yeah, to be fair, you did ask nicely first. Yeah, you are. Right. You're right about that one. See manners, manners, and all that. Yeah, but it was a fight, man. Okay, well the fight's over now, so... No, it's not. I've still got to murder you. Why? Because no. we're fighting. No, no, we're done now. But we're no, it's not nicely. done. You don't just kill one guy and then the fight's over. Yeah, we do. No, you talk too much. You talk too much. No, you, 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 all you want to do is tell everybody how it is and give them death. You're confused. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, how many times are you going to say that? Well, you make me sick. You little talky man. You little groin cloth. What is that? That's it's cool. It's fashionable. Yeah, yeah. No, right. What's no, that top not. knot all about and all? All right, Minoc, it's your turn. I'm gonna try and get the keys off the Rat King. You run up and you manage to unhook the keys from the Rat King's belt. As you do so, you notice that the, just the last bit of life was going out of him. So you just um, disturb his body, and he just goes, "Oh, oh, the pain!" Keys, please. Oh shit! <laughs> Thanks for the keys. And you, you unhook the keys. You've now got this big set of keys for the dungeon on, on your person. So, brilliant. Next up is going to be the torturer. He's, he's just like, no, shit, get off of those. And he runs towards Minoc, and he's going to try and bash you with his club. <laughs> Take that, you little bitch. And he does three damage to you as he smashes you in the back with his club. No, you take this. And I'm going to throw my other fryer axe at him. Free. As you um, lift it up to throw it, you accidentally let go and it goes behind you. Oh, butterfingers! Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, try and run to the door and open it. Yeah, so you run through to the Rat King's quarters, get to the door that you know leads to the next chamber, and you insert the key, and it now opens. Grimmel, it's open. Come quick. Oh, good, good, very good. No, don't, definitely don't do that. Pack it in, you. Shut up. Oh, God. Can't wait to get out of this bloody dungeon. So I don't have to look at your big old face anymore. Next up is the torturer who goes for a hit on Minoc once again, um, trying to stop him. Um, and he actually fumbles. As he goes to hit you, he, he's, he's, he's running towards you. And he um, actually hits himself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Very smooth, mate. Very smooth indeed. No, I was. I did that on purpose. Yeah, of course you did. I did, I did. And next up is going to be Grimald. You're going to have a lovely black eye soon. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> you done more damage to yourself than, it did, than I have to you. It didn't even hurt. <laughs> it didn't even hurt. Of course it didn't. It didn't. Right, I'll bid you fuck off. And then I'm going to run off right away. <laughs> okay, <laughs> give me the agility, please. 16, mate. Yeah, you managed to run to where Minoc is, and you are now standing by the door. But sadly, so is he. <sighs> so, um, obviously, you guys are all now by the door, and he's like, You know, if you try to escape, I will just come with you. I'm just going to follow you until I kill all of you. Okay. We'll work that out later. At the moment, I'm still breathing, and that's what I like. Next up is going to be Minoc. I'm going to try and sprint through the door. Just carry on, just trying to, really trying to do a dungeon run. Just... Whoosh, you're just it. trying to leg it through. I'm gonna peg. I'm gonna peg leg. We go for like the world record of dungeon run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, give me an agility roll, please. Uh, Twenty. So, Minoc, you run out of the Rat King's quarters, and you run into uh, a um, a chamber where a trio of crates stands in the center, making a crude table and benches. Atop the center crate is a pair of dice and a shallow copper dish, a handful of coins and silver, and some. Uh, flagons of booze on top of it. Now and now it's going to be the torturer's turn. He follows you into the room trying to uh, attack you and fumbles yet again. 
because this room is fairly small, what happens is, is he as he goes to smash you, he lifts up his weapon, it hits against the ceiling, and it smashes into splinters. And he's like, fuck, <laughs> you little mug. <laughs> I really can't do it this time. Here, take a drink. Now why don't you just go back to your little office and do some paperwork? This, look, he stops for a second. He goes, this fight's gone on for fucking ages. Exactly. Bored. Yeah, I'm pretty bored with it too. <laughs> You got all your toys back there, you got your victims, and all you want to do is bother us. Exactly. And there are drinks now in front of us here, so why don't you have one? Oh, would you like a glass of wine, old torturer? Look. You look tired, mate. Feel a bit parched myself. Alright, both of you give me personality rolls. Ooh, 14. And. A seven. Yeah, so um, he, he basically looks at Minoc. He kind of ignores Grimald at this point, but he looks at Minoc and he goes. You know, I would like a glass of wine, but after we do a bit of drinking, we're going to carry on fighting. Sure, why not? And he pulls out one of the little crates, and he sits down, and it makes a huge thud as his gigantic ass just crashes down onto it. And he pours himself a glass, and he pours you to a glass, and he goes, <laughs> Let me tell you about the torturing business, guys. I hate it. I hate it so much. There's, there's no health care. The boss, he never comes down here. He doesn't give a fuck about me. He doesn't give a fuck about about my my my, my working conditions. Well, you 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 see you see where I work. One candle. One I've got candle. A, I've got a proposition for you in that case. <laughs> I'm listening, man. Why don't you just come through the dungeon with us? Be an adventurer. It'd be more exciting than your torture check. I mean, I've seen you but... swing that club, and boy, you yeah, pretty you're pretty good. It's ruined now, little boy. What what is? The club, you dick. Did oh, you see me just smash it yeah, against the yeah, ceiling? Yeah, but it's plenty. I mean, what we're trying to say is... And this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Crappy equipment. They don't give me nothing. You try torturing somebody with a bit of driftwood that they just found somewhere. Well, how I about... ask him, I ask him, give me a fucking stiletto or a dagger or, or, a, or a run saw. But no, I, they give me a fucking... They give me a fucking club. What kind of equipment is that? Even the Rat King's got a club. He's a king, for fuck's sake. You're unappreciated. Well, Exactly, I'm unappreciated. Well, how about you stop? I'm trying, I'm trying how to about you shut stop? up a minute, shut up how a minute. How about I'm you stop to, Shut torturing. up a minute, I'm trying to open up emotionally. Let him talk, let him talk. Uh, 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 I'm trying to fight you twos. I could have had you killed in like one round of combat if I just had a long sword. We know that, we were just, we were just but stalling. I, but I just had a club. What about Rune Blade? Oh man, well I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. Would you want one of them? Yeah, I'd like a rune blade. Then you'd be the you, ultimate torturer. You got one? We could get one. Well, we could get you one, and then you could go up to your boss and be like, oh yeah, boss, you want to see torturing? Then, then, then look at it there. And then you could run him through or something. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd see the look on that motherfucker's face. You imagine? <laughs> <Anybody know? laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, you were saying, little dwarf, Sorry, it's just I was getting a bit emotional. Come through with us. Perhaps if we meet each other again in your chamber, don't torture her. Have a chat. And then if we see you, come with us. Nah. Come on the adventure. I ain't the adventuring type. But you and hate look, your I job. Like, I like my job. It's just well, it's just I want it to be better conditions, you know. Better pay. Well, if you come through with us, we can make it better conditions. Yeah, you well, can get a different chamber. We can use that. loads of torturees. We pick him up along the way. I mean, I'm sure last time me and my companion went through this dungeon, we definitely met some people that definitely were looking to be tortured. Do you remember, Miley? Oh, I mean, oh, if only I could be tortured. If only I could meet a big, handsome torturer, my life would be complete. I'm sure we met these guys. The Rat King wanted to be tortured too, actually. Yeah, yeah, but he's a bit funny, so he can't get his point across. Yeah, I heard he was into that kinky yeah. stuff. Yeah, kinky, yeah, so, that's it. There you have it. So... Continue, uh, c continue with us, old torturer, and we will give you so people you're telling to torture. Me, you're telling me if I continue with you, I'll get a rune blade, I'll get loads of people to torture, and afterwards I'll get to kill an irate crow guy? Yeah, and then people start calling you King Torturer. This is going to be fun. All right. You know, you tools don't seem so bad. I'm sorry that I smashed you in the back and the nuts in the face. <laughs> That's all um, right, you're just doing your job. Apology accepted. I mean, your nuts must be real fucked up. I mean, well, they disappeared. I, I'm pretty sure I'm a woman now. 
No, you need more than you need more than a smashed pair of nuts to be a woman. We're gonna start calling him Minel from now on. <laughs> okay, Minel. And what's your name, little guy? I'm Grim. Call me Little Grim. Little Grim and Minel. Let's do this shit. Come yeah. On. Woo! <laughs> and then he um, raises up his glass to cheers you guys. Let's fucking let's fuck some shit up. Yeah, let's do this. So you guys proceed through the next door and you see some stairs in front of you. And as you remember, these stairs go on for a very, very long amount of time. And you you descend the seemingly endless stairs for what must be hours. Each flight is the same. Stone steps descending ever further and elegant wooden beams arching towards the high ceiling, creating the effect of a silent, gloomy forest. Finally, in the darkness ahead, you spy an end to your interminable descent. One last flight descends to the feet of a pair of towering portals lit by braziers of burning oil. The smell of smoke mixed with the stench of rot and mould is thick in the air. The torturer looks at the stairs and he goes, Seems pretty normal to me, just a normal set of stairs. Wait. Uh, da, 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 Wait a minute. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay. What? What? Um. I can't walk. What? You don't trust me to walk down a, a no, 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 no. flight it's, of stairs? It's not that. Look at this. And I'm going to throw um, my dagger. Down. Oh no, yeah, I'll throw my dagger down the stairs. Um, a chamber to the side of the stairs, just like last time, opens up and a big load of gas comes out, lighting the stairs on fire. And he's like, oh, I see. Oh, that's, well, yeah, maybe, maybe don't walk down there, especially now. Uh, I'll, I'll, in, uh, while this is going on, I'm going to ask, um, I'm going to ask the torturer what his real name is. So, what's your, what, what did your mum call you? Yes, what's your real name? Yeah. So a little, let's, get, let's get to know the man behind the torch chamber. Well, uh, I don't really use my real name nowadays. It's a little bit embarrassing. That's all right, go on. So he pauses for a minute, and he sighs heavily. <sighs> Neubert. Neu Neubert? Yeah, my name's Erasmus Neubert. What a lovely name. Yeah. You should be proud of that. No, no, it does not, it's, it's not a very tortury name. Hi, Bert. No, no, I see where you're coming from, you know, like, it is Neubert to, to, to put you on the rack. Erasmus Neubert, it sounds like a nerdy wizard name. Never thought about wizarding? God, no. You seen that nerd that I fucked up earlier? Oh, he was a, he was an absolute sack of potatoes, he was. He did, he, he, he I, I never want to be like that. The arrogance on that guy, the arrogance. Exactly. Magic missile, come on. <laughs> named after a blinking matchstick, at least you ain't got you ain't got a name like that. Yeah, fuck that guy. Anyway, how long is this fire gonna continue? Mm. Oh, a little bit longer. Not much longer. Too. We should have brought the wine, really. Um, and you guys sit there for a good couple of hours, <laughs> and then uh, the flames just continue and continue and continue. But... Eventually, they subside, and you are left with some blackened, burnt stairs in front of you. And now, what you can see down uh, down the stairs is a narrow stone bridge crumbling with age, and it arches out into an enormous cavern, coming to a rest as stalagmite. The cyclopean stalagmite, titanic in size like the rest of the chamber, houses what looks like a small village, separated from the arch by a wooden gate. I'm not right, you lot. I've been here before, so listen and listen good. Right. That village is full of ill-mannered people that mumble a lot of crap and like to fire arrows. I was turned into the proverbial pincushion last time round. So listen, especially you, Erasmus, because I don't know if you've been this far, but them guys down there, they're the guys I think that deserve a good bit of torturing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. First of all, can you describe the men in the village? What do they look like? Incredibly tall, incredibly grey, had the complexion of a sponge, uh, and they talk like this. Okay, that's not a lot to go on, and please don't call me Erasmus. Call me uh, Torturer or Mr. T or something like that. Oh, Mr. T. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I call you by your real name when we are in, when when you're not at work? 
fine. It's quite fetching. Okay, fine. Just call me Erasmus or Noy, but but when I'm not working, if I'm working, Mr. T, torturer, or Big T, or a T, or a Tit Man, or something like that. T money. T money's fine. Copy that. Right. So T unit. Okay. So we got some great fools down there with glowing eyes that fire arrows. Yeah, that's it. So how do we deal with that? Some kind of gigantic magnet. I'm not like a strategy guy. Well, I was hoping that your uh, brute force might help, but I think, I'm thinking, can we sneak up on these people? Ah, I know. I got a plan. Yeah? We go to the shops. <laughs> and then uh, we buy a gigantic magnet. Um. Solved. You are aware that there's no shops here, right? So, as good as that idea was... Okay, 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 I got another idea. Okay. We, we write a letter. <laughs> Can you we, write to we, a local magnet we, salesman? We, we don't have much time. All right, fuck face. I don't see you coming up with any better magnet plans. He's got a point. How about this? I'm going to run forwards with my shield over my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lead uh, by example. Okay. Right. So, Minoc, uh, yeah, you run forwards and you've got your shield over your head. Um, so you need to give me a, a reflex saving throw, please. Run, Miney, run! Eight. Right, with an eight, you are pelted by arrows as the... Uh, on the tower to your left, um, in this gigantic cavern, you can see a, a bunch of these hideous... Um, Grey-looking men come up, point at you, and go, <laughs> and then suddenly they start firing arrows at you. Oh, ah, ee, ah, ooh, ah, dead. Ooh. You are utterly pelted. You take eleven damage. No, yeah. not again. So yes, Grimald, from up top of the stairs, you can see Minoc run down, get pelted with arrows, and then just fall lifelessly to the ground. Right, Mr. T, uh, I think it's safe to say that was not the right strategy. <laughs> Should've should have got a magnet. Yeah, now I'm starting to agree with you. Have they noticed us yet? Well, they saw him. Yeah, have they seen us? Doesn't appear to. Right, let's get down low then, because you're quite a big lad. How the fuck am I going to sneak? I'm like eight feet tall, you idiot. It's true. Look, as long as we stay up here on the stairs, they can't see us. Mm -hmm. So I've got a, another plan. Okay. We stay here. Forever. Uh, forever. See, the thing is, you know as well as I do, this whole thing will reset soon enough. Fuck! So we got to push forward if you've got any chance of uh, sticking it to your boss. As you start talking about um, him running his boss through and him <laughs> like having to push forward, he starts legging it down the stairs yeah. and he does such a pitiful run oh. that um, he starts tripping downstairs, things like this. He starts falling down like a big meaty boulder <laughs> and the arrows start hitting him. Oh. Fortunately, only one actually gets into him and as he gets down to the bottom of the stairs, he's like, I'm okay! <laughs> And he gets up and he starts making a further run towards the village. Go on, Mr. T. But unfortunately, his get up is so slow that in the village as well, you can see more of these zombie-like creatures with the glowing eyes get up onto their parapets and start pelting him with arrows as well. Okay. Once again, very few actually manage to hit him. And he's like, guess I'm a pretty lucky dude, man. <laughs> he starts running towards the village. Again, it's pathetic. He's just tripping over his feet. He's like desperate, but for some reason, like the adrenaline is not kicking in properly, and he's just—he's just not. He's doing a terrible job of this running, and he's just like, oh, God, pretty flustered, and he starts fanning his face, like trying to. He's like, what? What do I do, man? And, and then he finally gets to the door. He starts banging on it with his fists, and he's like, uh, um. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, he tries to like bang the door open, but yeah. it's pathetic. He just, he's just like, okay, don't know what to do here. And you see more arrows come in. He gets shot in the back by about thirteen arrows, and he goes down. Oh, thank you, you beautiful diversion. Uh, I'm going to try and sneak now while they're um, aiming at this guy. To, yep, uh, go see for if it. I can get in there. And remember, you've got that cloak. Yeah. Oh yeah. You a plus three. Of course. Seventeen. Overall, so you got seven. Seventeen overall, yeah, got seven plus ten, yeah. Okay, so yeah, um, with his distraction um, uh, is actually um, pretty amazing, and then you rolled a seventeen on mm -hmm. top of that. So, 
none of them notice you. You are now you you basically get down the stairs and you you get your cloak over your little head yeah. and you're essentially like a shadow. Nobody sees you and you just get right up to the village door now. Nice. And you this village is like encircled by a big uh, a big wall. Yeah. And it's on this like stalagmite mm-hmm. and it's on this gigantic stalagmite rising from the cavern floor. And you're now st- stood at this gigantic door. What would you like to do? Yeah, I'm gonna try climb. Okay, so uh, that would be strength to do a climb. Ten. Yeah, so with the ten, you do not manage to climb the uh, the sheer um, uh, door, and you basically you basically jump up, grab onto the top of the um, uh, top of the door, yeah. but do not manage to pull yourself up even oh, slightly. Oh, it is honestly pathetic. And th- at this point, all of the grey zombie-like men have seen you, and they're going to pelt you with arrows. Um, fortunately, you hear a cacophony of arrows flying, and they're all hitting around you, but you only take two damage oh oh that's that's all right one sticks into your back Ah. give me another strength roll to see if you can climb over come on Grim, you got this that's uh 14 yes you managed to get over it and you are now on the other side oh but you are now faced with um three parapets of all of these guys um looking at you and they all point there's about 20 dudes and they they all point at you and they go and now you're going to take another hail of arrows. So give me a reflex saving throw, please. Nine, yeah, nine. Sorry. Nine, well, nine. you are going sorry, to take sorry. you are going to take thirteen damage. Uh, okay, yeah. As a um, big hail of arrows stick into your front, you look like a reverse porcupine, <laughs> and uh, you are now got thir- oh, like about thirteen arrows sticking into you, and you've taken thirteen damage. So. What do you want to do now? Why are you not even guarding? Bloody dung pile! Oh, pointless. Ow. Give me a perception roll, please. Ten. As you say this, what you spy off in the distance is a set of steps going down, um, going down into like a little um, uh, mechanism. Okay. You can use either agility or luck. Uh, I'm gonna take luck. I got plus one on that. I got thirteen. So yeah, as uh, with a thirteen, you manage to actually outrun all of the arrows as they're flying past you, and you manage to run down these uh, set of stairs, it's painstakingly carved into the stalagmite, and they run down to a narrow platform. And you see a crude basket winch built from a giant mushroom cap, fibrous rope, and counterweight stones, and it sits atop the platform, permitting access to the cavern floor. And far below, you can spy the cavern floor, covered in a dense forest of giant mushrooms. A narrow path of stones cuts through the forest, angling toward the cavern wall. I look at it and go, some may call it a crude basket wench, others may call it an exit strategy. And I'm going to jump into it and pull the winch. Yeah, and you're going to need to give me a reflex saving throw as more arrows pelt you when you get into the basket. Okay. Twenty. Yes. So, just as you do that, you so so just as you get in, um, the uh, you start pulling the rope and going down. Yeah. And you do it so quickly that you manage to avoid all of the arrow fire coming towards you. You now get down into the fungi forest. And the floor of the cavern is covered with a thick bed of spongy humus. The stench of rot is thick in the air, and every breath fills your lungs with stinging spores. Giant mushroom ta- Oh, I rake stay. Giant mushrooms tower around on all sides. A narrow path of stones is set in the soft ground, wending its way through the fungi forest. All right, mushroom daddy. Okay, um, if you could please give me a fortitude save. Oh, 23! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. 23. That was wicked. Yep, you actually uh, you actually feel okay. Um, despite the fact that you're breathing in these weird spores, it mm-hmm. stings, but it's not actually doing anything to you at the moment. Ah, oh, perhaps the arrows are uh, my primary problem at the moment. Yeah, so um, what are you going to do? I'm going to continue through the fungi forest. Okay, as you continue through, um, it's it's uh, it's only a cut, like a minute walk. Mm-hmm. But um, as you continue through, you see that the narrow stone path wends its way to the cavern wall. There, set beneath a small overhang, is a crude stone throne carved from the living rock. Seated atop the throne, girded with a bejeweled mithril armor and covered in dark fungus, sits a grim skeleton. 
a massive two-handed sword rests against the throne. The dark blade pulses with ancient malign power, calling up bitter bile and filling your mind with dreams of bloody slaughter. Could it be this mushroom man wields the sword I am looking for? And you notice a little name tag on the skeleton. <laughs> it what? says Dominic. The- ah, he did. I see the mushroom man is more than just a mushroom man. It is Dominic, Nairalay's brother. Right, well, it looks like he does not you have, no longer have any use for this blade. So I will take it off him. Here, yeah, mushroom boy, budge over, pass me that. Okay, give me a will save, please. <laughs> Here we go. 20! <laughs> yeah, you feel absolutely fine as you snatch up the blade, um, but you hear a voice in your head that's like, Oh, yeah. Hello? It's me, motherfucker. Who's that? Who's it's that me? It's me, man. It's the room blade. Oh, yeah. I look at the blade in my hand. I'm like, could it be this instrument is talking to me? You know it, motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> why is your voice unbelievably calming? Well, because, you know, I'm just a motherfucking cool motherfucking blade. <laughs> that you are. <laughs> oh, am I going mad, blade? No, you ain't going mad. You going cool. <laughs> 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 yes, I am. Cool, Grim. Feels fantastic. I think I love you, Blade. Hey, let's get out of this hell hole. Hell yeah! Can I chop people on the way? You know it, girlfriend. Yeah, let's do this! Give me a fortitude save, please, because okay. you're still breathing in this force. <laughs> okay. Oh, three. Roll a d6, please. Four? Yeah, believe it or not, the spores you've just breathed in are healing spores. No way! <laughs> you've just healed four hit points. Yes! For once, something nice has happened in DCC. Wow! Oh. But I feel invigorated. But you've got um. But you've got to go back up and through the dungeon, unfortunately. Okay. But we've got the coolest blade in town. Yeah, you have. And he's like, "Let's go kill some fools, motherfucker!" <laughs> oh yeah. I need to avenge my friends. You know it. Especially my new friend. Yeah, but. We started off funny, but he ended up being quite a nice guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. But we need to avenge some other people too, you know. It, oh, oh, it ain't yeah. just it ain't just like like we we can kill whoever we want. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody. Anybody you want. A lot of people have got to answer what for what they've done to my friend Miney. Exactly, and also we could just kill anybody, you know, just go into a town, just start killing anybody. Yeah. But but I promised myself I wouldn't do that anymore. Oh, but come on, where's, where's the fun in that? It's true, where is the fun in that? There's always a bit of fun in slaughter, isn't there? Exactly. I like the, I like the way you think, Mr. We're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we, Grim? Yeah, we are. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to leg it back up now, I suppose. Yeah, so you go up into the basket lift, yeah. and uh, once again, you're going to have to give me a reflex saving throw as you stand there with this pulsating sword, Okay. and uh, they, they notice you better than ever now because you've got this gigantic blade. That was four this time. Okay, well that's terrible, yeah. and you're going to take 17 damage. And um, once again, you guys awake in the throne room. Uh, Why, Blade? Uh, Why? Oh, what? Oh. oh, bloody hell, not this again. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Why do you guys always have to fit? Wait a minute, is that? And what, if you remember, magic items come with you uh, on the loop. And so, you were sitting there holding the rune blade. I look down at it and go, oh, f- uh, yeah, what? And Nyre. Run. And Nyre, he looks at you and he goes, I can't believe you retrieved it! And Lady Ariarch, remember, she told you to get rid of it. Yeah. And so she looks at you and she's like, No! Run. Ah! 
and Nairo goes, give it here. Yeah, I've got to, uh, I, I, I lift it like in a, in a pose and go, uh, change of plan. Marty, let's go. We're going to run to the Vizier. Vizier, yeah. Okay, um, both of you give me agility rolls, please. Um, Marzia goes, wait for me. 11. 14. Yeah, both of you um, leg it down to the entrance of the dungeon, which, as you remember, <laughs> is conveniently labelled Dungeon. Yeah. And uh, the Vizier's there, and he's like, all right, cunts. Look what we've got. I have hey! the power! You fucking did it. Right, let's get this fucking spell going. Wait a minute. What? One thing. Yeah. I oh, know, my fuck it, ain't important. No, 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 no wait no. a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, no. <laughs> I lift the sword to him and go, tell me. Get that fucking thing away from me. Well, tell me what it is you were going to say. Ah! No, it's just, fuck, it's just, uh, no, it's what? nothing. What go on. to say? I, t- I turn the blade again so it shimmers. Come on. And he goes, it's just, you know, the, the legends and all of that stuff. No, I don't. Tell me. Spit it out. It's just that the rune blade, it brings, you know, ruin to all those that wield it and all of that kind of stuff and, and all of that. Yeah, well, I ain't going to be wielding it for that long. And then Grimmel, do you hear a voice in your head? He's like, you lying, man. You lying, yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> should I do, Blade? You you got to kill um, that fool. G- g- uh, Grim, who you are you even... speaking to? I was t- talking to my friend, the Blade. What? Yeah, the blade talks to me. We've got an understanding. Um, Call him a dick. Dick. What? The, put, the one made the blade. Put the blade down. No, no what? Never. Call mine like a dick. Mine like your dick. <laughs> Good move. Good one, blade. I'll kiss it. Love you too. Hey, listen. This vizier guy, he don't even know the way out. What? He don't even know the spell. So what's he say? What's, he, what's all this chat? He, Them blade. He a liar. He a liar. You gotta Good slay move. that fool. How do I get out of here if I slay the visit? I'm gonna try and disarm Grimald. Okay, um, yeah, give me a uh, agility roll. Get back, Miney! I'm on blade business. I got 16. And you need to give me an agility roll, Grimald, to see if you can dodge this. 17. Get back, I said. Um, and you see that Marzio, he goes, "What the fuck is going on?" Okay, right. You're you're speaking to yourself, Grimald. And why are you trying to attack your friend, Minoc? The blade is doing something bad to him. We must make him release it. Oh, come on. He seems perfectly normal to me. He's stupid enough to speak to himself at the best of times. Blade. Yeah. I think I'm starting to lose grasp on this situation. Look, it's as simple as it is. Okay, this guy don't know the way home. All you gotta do is chop his little head off and everything gonna be all right. Well, and then we get home. Then you get home. All right, so off of the head and away we go. Exactly. Blade, you the man. I'm going to spin and to try and slice the, the dude's yeah, head Give off. me a melee attack roll, please. So he's 17. <laughs> um, you actually managed to chop this guy's head off, and you see the vizier, um, his his uh, throat hole just spouts blood all over the wall of the dungeon entrance and all over the floor. Grimald, Ma- no! Marzio is like, you complete cunt! It's the blade! No, it's not Drop. the blade, it was you! I saw you do it! The blade told me! Drop now, the blade. blade, take me home! Fireball! And he tries to hit you with a spell. He is going to. Uh... He manages to do 11 damage, oh. hitting you with a fireball to the chest. Ah! Blade, why? Alright, we're gonna go into initiative order. Okay, cool. Minoc, you are up first. Yeah, I'm gonna c- continue to disarm. I'll try, try and disarm him. Cool. Okay. okay, give me an agility roll, please. I've got a uh, 16. See, uh, 9. Uh, Minoc, actually, you run up, you uh, grab the blade by its hilt, and you actually manage to wrench it from your friend's hands. And Grimald, it comes out of your hands, and, he, mm-hmm. and you, you can still hear the voice. He's like, you ain't gonna let him do that, are you? That guy's pure evil. He's been trying to kill you from the start. Well, mine ain't. Yeah, you know all he wants is your money. I'm going to try and run through to the torture chamber. Then Minoc runs into the torture chamber and Grimald, you see him disappear. Next up is going to be Grimald's turn. I'm just going to drop to my knees holding my head going, I don't know what's true. You got to listen to me, man. I am. You're all I can hear inside my brain pan. But why? How can I still hear you if I no longer wield you, sore? Because we're connected now, man. Where are you? Shall I follow? Go into the torture chamber. Retrieve me and kill my knock. <laughs> I'm not happy with this, but it seems like the right way inside my head. 
<laughs> We're gonna get up and start walking, oh. like crying towards the torture chamber. As you run into the torture chamber, it is exactly as it was before, but this time you can see um, that uh, the torturer, Erasmus Neubert, he's standing there and, he, and he's like, Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, um... What a long face, criminal. I've got something going on inside my head, Mr. T. Oh, come on, we all got problems. No. <laughs> I don't know what's right anymore. Oh. I have these urges to, to hurt my friend. Miner, you might need to get away from... No, come here, Miner. Oh, come on, Come on, give me a gun. Look, I had urges to hurt your friend once, too. But we just talked it out over a glass of wine. Come on, you want some wine? Yeah. Let's go back to that room from before. But the blade is talking to me. Is there a quicker way through? Oh, you mean this secret passageway? Oh, oh, what? And you see him, you see him like her, you grab like a, a um, brick from the wall and it goes, and he's no. like, yeah, just go through there, man. I don't know why you didn't ask last time you were here. Because, <laughs> well, we were fighting. Oh, yeah, right. That was when I was smashing you in the dick. <laughs> and next up is going cool. to be Marzio's turn. Oh. He runs into the room and he's like, look, can somebody tell me what's going on? <laughs> and then he fires a fireball at, um, at Grimald and he, he's like, right, you, you, calm down, fireball. Another 11 damage to you. That means that Grimald is now dead. He bursts into flames. And then, Minoc, you hear a strange voice in your head. Oh, and it goes, no. hey, what's up, man? I'm going to drop the sword <laughs> and be like, what? Um, he's like, don't put me on the floor. What, 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 what is this? Look, pick me up, man. It's dirty down here. You're the one that's turning Grimald into there's this all, bad thing. Huh? There's all victim blood down here. Right, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to shout, Mr. T. Yeah. Kill me. I don't... Like, but what about the bonding, man? You need to kill me now. Here, you can see this blade on the floor. Don't touch it. Whoop. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Look, can somebody tell me what's going on? I have a voice in my head. It's the blade. Grimald was telling the truth, and I think it's going to corrupt me, so I need to be killed. Well, uh, when you pull it like that... And, uh, yeah, Minoc is now dead. His, um, head exploding like a big old fucking tub of cat food being smashed <laughs> with a brick. <laughs> guys then awake and this time it's not in the chamber from before okay instead you guys find yourself back in the Drakenvold swamp it's raining you've lost another permanent stamina point you can see the uh, king spire but it's battered, it's old, it's ruined there's moss growing up uh, the side of it, it's as you remember it the first time you saw it so it's your time again we're back what, what, what happened what, we didn't reset my knock. and standing there in the rain is Marzio and behind him the two acolytes, Keith and the unnamed acolyte and it's in his hands he holds the rune blade Oh shit! Looks like it's on, motherfuckers! Oh, that what I said earlier in that dungeon, Matchstick, I'm sorry. Maybe you two shouldn't have been so fucking stupid Great. as to just stand there and die. I took the rune blade and I took it back to Nyre, and I reversed the fucking time shit, and now who has the rune blade? <clears throat> How have you got the blade? <clears throat> because you two just stood there and died in the dungeon! I what? picked it up, you idiot! You set me on fire! Yeah, of course I did! You burned me all up! Anyway. Well, what happened with the voice? What do you mean? What, well, me and him are buddies now? Oh, oh shit. Oh. So it's on, bitches. And I believe we had a little promise. When we get out of the dungeon, you and I are going to have a little battle. Grim, Grim. Yeah, no swords, though. Grim, Grim. Yeah? I've, I've got this. No, I think we should run, mate. I've got this. You know, if you die now, I need to take my revenge. You die for real, right? But look, he wields the blade. He's more powerful than he's ever been. He's burnt me up once already. And you... I mean, is your pride... Pride that that much that you want to die, Marty? I won't be dying today. If you've got to fight him, then fight him. But don't cry to me when you're dead. If it all goes wrong, call... Say Tomahawk, and I'll come in. You can see that the, the Keith and the Acolytes back off and they sort of allow this sort of expanse of mud to kind of be your arena. 
and suddenly Marzio starts starts encircling you like a lion about to about to fight and attack some prey and he's like oh man you really think you can take me alone little dwarf you're pathetic you you you, you, you I don't think I've ever seen you land a successful spear attack you, you're a joke and you think you can take me and he's he's like swinging this um the rune blade this two-handed blade sort of feeling the weight of it in his hands he's like i've got the most powerful weapon ever created i've got so many spells that i could level a city and you think you can take me i'm not getting your head mate this is hilarious take this okay uh let's roll initiative oh boy I got 17. Nice! He got a 3. Take this. Right, yeah, so I'm going to go for a spear attack. 20. Oh, yeah. Uh. 11 overall. Bloody hell. You run up, stab him right in the stomach, and you can see that some sort of, like, um, strange-looking mincemeat type stuff starts coming out of him, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> It's not a thing. <laughs> you can't you can't win me. And then you see him start sort of having a conversation with himself, and he's like, You told me... You told me that. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, his head uh, understood. And um, then he he um, does a spell, and he goes haste. Yeah, and he gains an, an another immediate action this round, no way. and will gain immediate uh, and will gain two actions thereafter for every round. <gasps> and he goes to slash you with the rune blade. <laughs> He does five damage to you as he slices you with this pulsating blade, and it goes straight through one of your arms. Ooh. Okay, next up is going to be Minoc. Go for the bones! I'm just going to go for a spear, <laughs> a, a spear attack. Yeah, okay. go for it. Straight up. Oh, oh boy. I've got a 22. That's going to be a hit again. Come on! Four damage this time. Yeah, with that you manage to um, actually get him right near the balls but not in the balls you sort of get him in the pelvis and he's like ah! and I'm gonna, so close and I'm going to move backwards um, yeah. and hold my shield up yeah you take a step back and as you do so he's like don't try and run you little scumbag I'm going to blast you to oblivion fireball he does nine damage blasting you in the leg your one good leg with the fireball ah. It singes and burns. Why always the good leg? Oh, this is next up is he goes for another attack, slicing at you with the rune blade, and actually misses, but it goes just above your head, cutting what? a bit of your hair off. Oh, not the hair again. And he's like, oh, it looks shitty anyway, you little hobo. Your mum. Can I talk to Keith? <laughs> yes. Okay, so while this is going on, I'm going to be like, Keith, look, we've got history together, mate. We've got a connection. But you've got to realise your master, if he continues to wield this evil blade, I think you will die. Because it corrupts. It corrupted me. And it will corrupt him. And you know what he was like anyway? We can't let him win this fight, mate. If we can take your old master down, then I promise that I'll look after you. I've seen you with a dagger, Keith, and you're, you're like a beautiful, deadly ballerina. So, what do you say? Read this fight for me, mate. Um, Keith. Um, looks at you, then she looks back at the fight, and then she looks back at you, and then she's like, shrugs. Well, I tried. I have to do it myself. Um, it, it, the thing is, the battle is so intense yeah. and so deadly that Keith doesn't know what he can How do. How even to get involved? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go for another spear attack. Go on, son. Sixteen. That is going to be a hit. Yes, come yes. on. <laughs> uh, six damage. You stab him in the neck, and as you do so, he goes, Ah! Oh! Oh, fuck! You know what, little dwarf? Take that, you little bitch. I was wrong about you. Shut the fuck up. You're more of a cunt than I ever imagined. Fireball! And he does six damage to oh. you with this fireball. Ooh! Tomahawk! <laughs> and, he, and then he um, he goes in for a swing with the sword, and he's really weakened as this um, spear is in his neck. Ooh. And he swings it, it slashes into the ground, and he's like, I can barely lift this, I mean, I can really lift this thing. <laughs> you can see that he's really on his last legs at this point. You've yelled Tomahawk, and this is an indication to Grimald to join the fight. So now, you could join in the fight. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, you ain't gonna tell me twice, mate. And I'll go running in, and as I leap through the air with my two hand axes, I'm gonna be like, this is for the hungry hobbit remark. And then um, attack. 
Uh, first one's a 9, 15, and the second one's 15. Your second attack hits him right square in the back of the head, and you hear you hear his skull just split open. And he's like, fucking cheap shot. And you see his body just slump into the ground, the rune blade slapping into the mud, and he's just like, oh. And you see Keith just, uh, and you see Keith just pumping his fist into the air. He's more happy than he's ever been. <laughs> and Marzio's lifeless corpse just sort of like slumps and slides in the mud. Have that magic man. I'm gonna um, slump to the ground because uh, I'm, I've got tons of damage. I'm just gonna. Wow, that really took it out of me. You done him though. You are a hero. We done him. We done him. All the honor was with you. You should be very proud. Thank you. Stay here. Thank you. Mess. Keith. Nice one, mate. What about your other mate that don't talk too much? Is she, uh, he, she? Um, the, the other guy um, looks at you and then looks at the, the uh, wizard dead on the floor. Looks at you guys and then just legs it into the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> See you later then. Oh, well, Keith. Put it there, mate. I'll put my hand out to Keith. Keith shakes your hand and smiles, and he looks extremely happy. Yes! Right, nobody touched that despicable weapon. But the trouble with that is, of course, the reason, if you cast your mind back, that you needed the rune blade yeah. is because all of those days ago when you went to the Court of Chaos yeah. and you retrieved the yokeless egg, it was an artifact of such great power that nobody on this earth could possibly have the understanding to deal with it and it needed to be destroyed. Yeah. And the rune blade was the only thing that could do it. Oh, that could so destroy somebody, it. Yeah. So somebody needs to use this to destroy it. I will take upon the task of the Hermione, dealing. look at you. You're a mess. Can you possibly take on this final charge? There's only one way to find out. God, you're a hero. Uh, Hold it aloft. I'm going to pick it up. Oh. Hey. <laughs> pipe down, you. Hey, <laughs> you don't tell me to pipe down. We friends now. Um, uh, give me a will save. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I got 20. Nice. Yep. Um, okay, so do you get the egg out of your bag? Yeah. Okay, as you pull the egg out of your bag, you hear the sword go, what the hell is that thing? Get the hell out, get that away from me. Oh, what's the matter? It's it's disgusting. Look at it. Blah. Goddamn disgusting, lawful piece of shit. I don't want to see it. Get it away. Going to put you to good use. I'll put the egg on the floor and then uh, take a swing at it. <gasps> The sounds of the swamp are suddenly replaced by a whirlwind of noise as you see a parade of chaotic creation erupt from the cracked egg. Angels, demons, miniature galaxies, automatons, entire races of people, colours that would be impossible to describe yet to look upon them would make any man weep, all erupt from a single tiny point from within the egg. The thing does not appear to be destroyed at all, but more that the chaos within has somehow been released and unleashed upon the world. Oh, not this again. Look, I've had a very long day.
here we are, lads. We finished it. We finished the King Spire. Wow. That was awesome. Yeah, that was really weird, the end, because I was just like, I don't know what you guys thought. Well, I, I don't know what you were thinking, James, because as soon as you, you were like, kill me, and then it would be rewound or whatever, but you left the sword. And I was just like, well, Marty yeah, was we in had the room. Didn't we? Just yeah, pick it up. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't really think Because that. I thought, you know, it was corrupt and grim, and... Um, he just wanted to murder me, so, and it wasn't leaving him, was it? So, mm. oh, and then he, then he was killed, and then uh, then it was going to corrupt me, and I thought, yeah. no, I I can't be corrupted, so we'll f- come back next time and then figure something out. Led afterwards. to the most epic battle ever, though. That was literally it. I thought we can get back to this position and then go that right. No one touch it. Let's figure it out. What a showdown, mm. though. But instead, it was like oh. Ah, it's all good, mate. What? Yeah, but come on, look at that showdown at the end. Yeah, I and mean... I thought, I, I was thinking as well that, like, of course Marzio would take the easiest option. Yeah. He would just give it to the bloke and get the hell out. Yeah. Because that's, that's the type of guy he is. He's not, he doesn't think about anyone but himself, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that was really fun. I, so I really cool. enjoyed it. And it was it was really good. I mean, the, the uh, it was weird doing the same dungeon twice. I know, yeah. But it was like, there were loads of different things that happened. When all the arrows hit me, I thought, oh, God, we've got to go again. And I was like, right, we're just going to try and run. But I don't... I loved befriending Mr. T. That was the highlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was good. Yeah, he, he was funny. I liked the the, the the third time that you went back in. He's like, "What's up, guys? Hey, guys! <laughs> yeah. I'll see your passage this way, man." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, freaking awesome. Oh God, I love this. Uh, I love this. It's DCC. such a fun game, man. I, mi- I missed so it because we haven't played it in a little while. I was getting yeah, I was getting withdrawal symptoms, man. I was just like, "Oh, come on! I need totally. to know what's going on." Thank you very much. So that yeah. was the King's Curse of the King Spire by Harley Stroh and. Uh, I don't know which one we'll move on to next but that was fucking awesome so yeah yeah, really really good as I said there was a section that we missed out in the middle so uh, yeah there's this whole fucking bit so basically uh, you you have the obviously the lead up where you go through the swamp and and all of that stuff Mm. and then in the middle there's there's a whole bit where you are just fucking about in the um in the King's Spy, when you get sent back in time, you're supposed to be like talking to people, and you go through like the whole 24 hour cycle, and there's loads of different events that can happen. It's really cool. Uh, it's just, I, I didn't see any other option. I just thought you guys would just go, fuck it, let's go down the dungeon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't think you guys would actually bother fucking about doing any of that stuff. We're so adventurers. That's what, yeah, that's why I yeah. cut out the middle part. Fair so play. I was just like, there are there are some types of role players that would go, oh, all right, let's investigate this let's bit. Let's investigate this everyone. bit. Yeah, and like, I get that. I get that. And like, they're, that's fine. But then I thought maybe you guys would just go, fuck it, let's get down a dungeon. Well, we make it, especially when it's a radio show. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've got to yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. When you're at when you're at a table and it's like there's a lot of people and stuff and you can yeah you've got more time for everybody to all go around and yeah. stuff. Whereas this this game this is an adventure program exactly. Yeah. And we want to bring the adventure thick and fast and exactly. it's exciting. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> and that was I really enjoyed that. So loved it. Brilliant. Yeah, well, well played, guys. Well played. Likewise. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much, man. All right. So, so uh, yeah. If you want to get in contact with us, you can do that at tabletoptwats at gmail.com. Or on Facebook, which is uh, forward slash tabletop t. Additionally, come over to Twitter, uh, throw a tweet at us. Is that it's how it works? You throw a tweet. It's this hot new website. Yeah, throw tweets. And we're at tabletop twats. twats. Yes, we are indeed. Yeah. And, and that is all the ways to contact us. Or you can contact us by phone, but you have to figure our number out because I'm not giving it out. You no, can also again. go onto the Google Plus community and search for us for, on there or via the Nerds International And lastly, community. but most importantly, if you enjoy what we do, if you think, them guys, do you know what? That's actually quite funny. Sling us a buck. Why don't you sling us a buck? Because if you do, you will be immortalised forever in the Foreign Beggars. As For example, Conrad Erasmus Neubert, who was Erasmus Neubert, the torturer. A.K.A. Mr. T. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that is that is it for today, everyone. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Laters, Good. potatoes. Bye. Bye bye. Will there be a single supporting character in this show that doesn't leave within one episode? Owen, Lex Elia, Marzio. All of them, they're gone. It's ridiculous. Anyway, at least I'm still here. Ha ha! Goodbye. 
Oh yes, and I forgot to mention that this episode features some sick tunes from a man called Null Spectre. He's a cool artist who makes cool music. If you remember the music from the bit where he, the, the foreign beggars, they fought Marzio. Well, that music, that was pretty rad. And also some music from an artist called Cinemora, another rad dude. If you remember the music from when they were drinking with Erasmus Neubert, it was that bit. Also some rad tunes. So I'll put links to their band camp pages in my fucking description of the episode. So go and listen to those. Also, go to my web store where I sell t-shirts. I don't have anything on them. They're just blank t-shirts. Go and buy one. Goodbye. Goodbye.